A school in Bar Harbor has officially plugged in Maine's first all-electric school bus. It's a quiet ride and a way to fight climate change. New Center Maine's Hannah Yashibi takes us for a ride. Now we're ready to go. Gives me all kinds of information. Number of miles I have left and the percentage of charge in the battery. You've heard of the electric slide. <laughs> Welcome to the electric bus. Doug drives the bus. I've been doing it for 15 years. But this year, Doug is spinning a different, more eco-friendly wheel. Someone from A Climate to Thrive asked if we would consider getting an electric school bus. I didn't even know that was a thing. He did some research and quickly realized it was not going to be a thing. The average price tag for them is more than $350,000. So I kind of let it go. I knew that wouldn't fly with the budget. That's where money from a legal settlement from the Volkswagen emissions scandal a few years back comes in. The settlement funds grants for school districts to make earth-friendly changes to equipment and facilities. We thought it was a great idea because it would you know, the energy and all that stuff and how much gas we used. The grant money paid for 80% of this electric school bus. It plays very nicely with the rest of our sort of ecological plan. The school's plan being carbon neutral by 2030. MDI High School is also Maine's first school to completely offset its electricity use thanks to these 1,400 panels on its roof. And fun fact, the solar panels are strong enough that it powers both the school and the electric bus. The kids aren't breathing the diesel exhaust. I'm not breathing the diesel exhaust. I'm coughing less than I used to. The clean bus will also reduce general school operating costs. We estimate we're gonna save about $5,000 a year on fuel. Riding in the new school year in quiet style. In Bar Harbor, Hannah Yashivi, New Center, Maine.